Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice Tutorials. Here I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial overview of the Research Center in Galaxy Legend. Okay, this is the Research Center right here. And um, as you can see, it shows you the basic info saying the Research Center is uh, for developing R&D for combat. combat. You can upgrade technologies. Now, the great thing about this is, let's go ahead and go, well first we'll go to upgrade just so you can kind of get an idea. Um, every time you upgrade, it's going to unlock new things. Um, right now, I'm, I'm at 11. Since I'm past player level 55, I can upgrade again. Um, I just have to wait for some time on some other buildings. Um, but as this gets higher level, you'll get new upgrades. And here, I'll show you what I mean. Go to function. Okay. Now here, you'll notice there is initial, which will be unlocked from the get-go when you start playing. And you'll get a few, maybe two or three, I can't remember. Um, and then you'll have advanced, which will unlock as you upgrade your research center. Um, and as you upgrade the research center, you'll notice the initial ones, when you upgrade, upgrades at a small amount. Here it says plus 20 each time you upgrade using your tech points. Okay, These are your tech points. This is your... At a certain, once you hit, um, go over a million, it just estimates. So 1.2 million is my force, which is my strength of my fleets. Um, so basically here you can upgrade everything from hull, shield, um, speed, and all your different, you can see the stats here that it actually upgrades. And these upgrade your entire fleet. So every ship in your fleet gets these upgrades when something's upgraded. Um, and advanced, you'll notice, it increases it a lot more. It's four times what the initial ones do. Now you will max out based on the level of your research center. Right now I have everything maxed out at 50 um, that I can use. See um, speed here I have to actually upgrade my building to get the speed upgrade. Um, as you upgrade the cost will increase because you can see here the first upgrade is going to cost me 950 but here I'm at you know level 50 it's going to cost me 70, um, 590. Um, again Tech points, this is going to be the biggest thing you're going to want to um, do is increase these stats to as high as you can get them because it is the largest gain in strength you can do. Um, there are ways to get tech points by daily rewards, um, by um, special events that allow, like you purchase a pack and you get it, or um, completing um, your daily missions as in... Um, or not daily missions, but storyline missions. You go through, and as you defeat different people, you'll get tech points. Um, and the biggest way to get tech points that I've found so far is Pandora. And this is Pandora. Pandora will ink will will open up periodically as they have events. Usually, it's on the weekends. It um, staggers between other events, but um, you will get a massive amount of tech points, and you're going to want to use them here. You can also use your tech points to increase your um, strength, like a multiplier when you fight Primus, um, which Primus is here, happens once a day, it's a battle server-wide, um, and you can use tech points to um, do your battle training to increase certain things, let's come here, it'll open, there we go, um, I actually need to fight him today. But as you attack these, you'll also get these, uh, um, shoot, I forget what they're called. But anyway, you'll get these points, but you'll have to use tech points along with this. But all this area does is enhance your main ship, um, your commander. So you really want to save those tech points and max out your other first. And then if you have remaining tech points after you've maxed out everything in your research center, then you can come here and use it here. Um, but that's pretty much uh, tech points and the um, research center. So if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching.